And you see my girl Andrea, I feel like eating some roast corn. So I pick up this cold pot. I pick up this cold pot by the Caribbean store today. And I'm going to do an outdoor roast corn on the cold pot. So this is the corn. I have four corn here. And I'm going to show you how we used to roast corn on the cold pot. So here we go. My cold pot. This is how the cold pot look like. Right? Solid. And it have this welded sort of bar that we fence anything from falling down in the bottom here and getting trapped and this little opening if you see all the the the, your, the coals your your coals just burn out you just scrape it off you understand so this is a cold pot so this is how i prepare my roast corn i'm gonna put my coals in the cold pot you pick up your coals you put some coals in the cold pot and then you get some chip wood you know to catch it up real nice you just pile it up nicely there right you chip from wood if you don't have chip wood. Get an old piece of branch that dry up and just chip it up and put it in your cold pot. So you're roasting corn today on this cold pot. So now it is chipped. Now back in the days we used to use pitch oil. But here I'm using a little bit of ticky torch fuel. You understand? You want to put a little bit. And you move out the coal a little bit and you get that wood. You get that wood. You have a box of match? You have a box of match. You understand? And you strike. You strike it. You understand? And you put some more chip woods if you want. Until everything heat up nice. You could put some more torch. You could put some more in that picky torch. Get it up nice. And this running all the mosquitoes in your backyard also. And you just take a grill, a little mesh, and just rest it in. You understand? Wait until that heat up real nice. And you put in some more wood chip, and you take a piece of cardboard, and you fan it. Until all them wood chip catch up real nice. Now that coal at to turn gray. You understand? Man, this smelling real good, man. I could smell that smoke oh i love that i love it i love it i love it i love it you see the bottom all of that coming out there so this is what you want your fire to be like you just move it around a little bit and when you see it become gray like this see this piece here then you could put your corn on this um cold pot fire in your wire Fire, fire in your wire, wire. You're going down, Kolochi, Lochi, Lochi. Come up, my come my high, come high, come. Oh God, I saw it go. I didn't even know. This is the corn, so here we're going. Normally, some people take out all the covering for the corn. I, your girl Andrea like to do the same thing you understand because i do it back in the days you see all the silk i'm telling you in one of my videos i told you this here is good to make tea so this is one corn this is what you call shelling corn the shelling corn you shell your corn don't worry all of this the heat will burn up all of this Two corn. Three corn. I think you have a next one here. Four corn. Four corn. Four corn. And you rest the corn on top here. 
on that little grill. You don't put it directly on that coal. You have to have some kind of bar for it. You let it here. And let it roast. That is what you call roast corn. Coming from Andrea's backyard. Andrea's finish show. So when it's roasted, I will turn it. I you hear that cracking song? Oh my God, it's smelling good already. So see you again in a few, okay? Now you, you take your tongue and you just turn the corn a little bit. You understand? Now it have to have this sort of color. You see that, those little black spots? Man, I'm telling you, this have to cover the entire corn. So you wait until, and if you find these fire is playing games with you, you just give it a little fun. It's just a little fun. To make the flames rise. You understand? You see what I'm talking about? Look at that flame. And you get a roast corn. So leave it, let it roast. We're not rushing it. And I'm going to be enjoying some nice roast corn this evening. Okay, so I've given this a little fun again. You fan it. Hear that cracking song? Hear that cracking song? See how the fire just engulfed there? Right? And you turn your corn. This is the color you want it to be. You understand? The entire corn must be coated like that. No, you don't want your corn to be really dark patched. You understand? You want it with this nice color. That's right. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Almost done. So, so guys. This is the end product of my roast corn. For those of you who are new to my channel, who are now tuning in for the first time, welcome to your girl, Andrea's Trini Show, where backyard cooking is the thing this evening. Like, comment, and share this video with family and friends, and certainly subscribe to my beautiful channel. So this is the end product of the corn, and this is how the corn looks like, right? So see you again with another great video and another outdoor cooking. Bye for now.